Hey guys, so the first beta for Android Q just released, um, running on the Pixel 3, and I'll show you my two favorite features from it. So the first is, of course, a screen recorder. Uh, very, very basic at this point. You can just stop it, pause it. Uh, of course, you can do a voiceover. You can tap like that. But aside from that, not too much here. Um, I mean, it works pretty well. It's not really glitchy. But, yeah, guys, uh, you can't put your face in the corner. Like, you can't use the webcam, the, uh, the front camera for it. You can't, um, I don't think you can record in-game audio. Yeah, like, I don't know if you guys can hear the music, but I can. So, again, guys, at this point, it's pretty simple, pretty basic, but uh, at least we're getting something for it. Now, the other thing is dark mode. And again, guys, this is, I mean, keep in mind, this is the first beta, so this stuff really is not fleshed out yet. So for dark mode, you actually have to press on battery saver. And let me make, okay, yeah, so it's still screen recording. Um, but this is actually pretty cool. So for photos, for example, you guys see that is in dark mode. And then, of course, for the settings. So right there is Android Q. And I don't, I mean, this, we're still using the Pi Easter egg there. But we do have this, I think this is new, this editor. So yeah, for let me just close out of some of this stuff. And we'll go back in the settings. Yeah, I think I mean for the most part the UI is pretty similar. Uh, I know you can like change the color of some stuff, but yeah, again guys, pretty early development here. Now, if you want to do this stuff like the screen recorder, uh, I'll write in the comments and also the description how to download it or how to activate it. But yeah, guys, I mean, first impressions, I think that uh, Android Q looks pretty promising.